So, if your lab test reports say that you have protein in your urine and flashing that dreaded albuminuria warning, well, let me tell you what, that's not a good thing. And if you are in the red here, and if you are doing anything right now that doesn't involve taking care of your kidneys, well, that's just like rearranging lounge chairs on the deck of the Titanic. Look, here's the deal. In some cases, the line between ending up on dialysis and reversing kidney disease is thinner than a supermodel on a juicy only diet. And what's the crucial factor? Proteinuria, of course, or as I like to call it, your kidneys cry for help. Catherine here, I'm a doctor in natural medicine and I've been helping kidney disease patients for more than a decade now. And here's the good news. I've got 10 tips that will help you keep this nasty little marker under control. And if you follow them, your kidneys might just start improving. Yes, this can be done. By the way, these tips aren't just for people whose kidneys are on the brink of feeling for divorce. They're for anyone with kidney disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, or just a general sense of self-preservation. Let's see what they are now. Number 10, vitamin D. Vitamin D level has a huge impact on your kidney function. And the first thing that having enough vitamin D is going to affect is your proteinuria level. Make sure you are getting checked for vitamin D levels and that you are supplementing adequately. Up next, number 9, here is one of the best kept secrets of the renal diet industry. Seriously, they guard this secret like it's the colonel's 11 herbs and spices. And the secret is soy foods. Yes, they can really help with proteinuria. In fact, CKD patients who replaced their animal-based protein with minimally processed soy products have been observed lowering their creatinine levels. So yeah, add soy products to your diet. Yep, I said it. Soy. You know, that stuff you've been told to avoid because it might turn you into a uh, hippie or something. Well, truth is, soybean products such as tofu, soy milk, and soy yogurt are amazing for kidney health. Soybeans aren't just rich in vitamins and minerals as well as CoQ10. They also are somehow unique in the nutrition world. Why, you may ask? Because soybeans are one of the very few plant-based foods packing complete protein. That's right. Soy is a plant-based food that packs the same high-quality protein you'd get from meat, but without the acid and phosphorus and all that kidney-destroying toxins you'd get from meat. And now you may ask, but Catherine, soy yogurt tastes about as much like real yogurt as a cardboard box tastes like cake. Are you sure it's worth it? Okay, okay, I know no one really likes soy yogurts and tofu. Well, let's just say it's no breaches. But guys, do you think your kidneys are going to care about the taste? Number eight, another food that, according to science, is even better than soy when it comes to lowering proteinuria level. Enter flaxseed. And I think everyone should try this one. No, even better. Add exactly 20 grams of ground flaxseed to your morning oats every single day. And why, you may ask? Well, according to a recent study, and I quote, Flaxseed meal was more effective than soy protein in reducing proteinuria. Yeah, I wasn't joking when I said that this seed is even better than soy. And what I think about flaxseed is that it is really the best bang for your box when it comes to fighting proteinuria. And no, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking more about risk reward here. They say that everything that works for your health also comes with side effects, but flaxseed may actually be the healthy exception here. I mean, it works, and as long as you factor in the extra calories and protein, the only side effect you may risk is more regular bowel movements. Up next, number seven, let's talk about garlic and proteinuria. 
Now garlic is truly a wonder of nature and if you're not on board yet you're missing out. First of all garlic is like nature's blood pressure whisperer and it also helps with cholesterol and diabetes. And there is another reason why you want to consider this superfood now. Garlic offers incredibly powerful vasodilating and antioxidant properties and for this reason it is being studied as a way to decrease proteinuria levels. Amazing! I mean, not just blood pressure and diabetes, garlic is even a top contender in the fight against proteinuria. But let's be real for a second, when I recommend garlic, I can practically hear the collective groan as people imagine themselves smelling like an Italian trattoria on a hot summer day. I mean, you'd be safe from proteinuria, but don't expect any hugs. Well, what if I told you there is an alternative that can get you the benefits without the added smell? I'm talking about odorless garlic supplements. But here's the catch, finding a garlic supplement that actually works in the wild west of the supplement market is like finding Wi-Fi in the middle of a desert. Even worse, some of the top rated supplements on Amazon might actually be dangerous for you. This is why in my last video I broke down exactly which supplements on Amazon are the real deal and which ones are about as useful as an ashtray on a motorcycle. The link is up here and also down in the description if you missed it. Okay guys, here's our number 6 for today, a very underrated innovative therapy that can make a huge difference for proteinuria and kidney health in general. Number 6 is antioxidant therapy. Antioxidants are one of the hottest topics in the world of kidney disease today. New studies are being published regularly and the reason is clear. Simple antioxidants such as vitamin A, vitamin C, resveratrol, catechines and more can make a huge difference for CKD patients. They can actually improve your kidney function. Okay, but what about proteinuria, you may ask? Well, here's the deal with antioxidants. Those who will benefit the most from them are patients with diabetes and proteinuria. This happens because oxidative stress is the pathway in which diabetes damages the kidneys. So it's only natural that a therapy that can diminish this kind of damage is going to be effective. And in my experience, some of the most effective antioxidants for kidney health include vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium, zinc, CoQ10, and NAC, of course. The way you may want to supplement this may depend on several factors, including your diabetes status and your CKD stage. This is actually a pretty big topic that I have not discussed in a while. So if you want me to make a full video about this with recommendations regarding the best choices in terms of antioxidants, please let me know in the comment section. Number 5. Okay guys, let's take a break from supplements for a moment and let's talk about something that could help improve proteinuria without the need for any pills. This is another hot research area nowadays for CKD and it's gut health. And before you roll your eyes, let me just say this. Regular healthy bowel movements might do more for your proteinuria than most people could ever imagine. How is that possible, you may ask? Well, here is a little fact for you. The human body is made up of about 68 trillion cells, 38 trillion of which aren't even human. They are actually mostly bacterial cells. That's right, folks. You're basically a walking petri dish. Think about that for a second. So, what are all these bacteria doing inside our bodies? Well, you might think these bacteria are freeloaders living rent-free in your body, alright? And well, some of them are, but fortunately, most of the bacteria inside our bodies are actually helping. They are inside your gut performing essential tasks, such as aiding in digestion, synthesizing vitamins, helping immunity and preventing toxins from entering the bloodstream. Unfortunately, many people with kidney disease also suffer from gut dysbiosis, which is a fancy term for when there is an imbalance between the amount of good and bad bacteria in their gut. I mean, gut dysbiosis. 
when your bad bacteria didn't get the memo that this body is not a hotel. Yeah, and now the freeloaders are starting to take too much space and resources, dumping their toxins all over the place. So if you are having symptoms such as diarrhea, constipation, gas or bloating, well, this may mean that those freeloaders are producing and releasing a huge amount of toxins into your bloodstream. And where is this fried train of scores and waste products going to cause damage? Well, inside your kidneys, of course. We have to stop them. How? Well, with a diet that's aimed at protecting your gut. The very first step here would be removing high protein, high fat foods, and refined carbs. Yep, all that stuff that's considered not healthy for your kidneys is not healthy for your gut as well. Surprise! In order to replace those foods, focus on fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. Choose in particular foods that are rich in soluble fiber, especially barley, chia seeds, oats, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and avocado. Remember that fiber is the best friend of the good bacteria in your gut. Another tip is avoiding artificial sweeteners as those may also play a role and also keep in mind that certain medications, antibiotics and prod pump inhibitors in particular are the worst enemy of your gut microbiome. I know, I know, overhauling your diet sounds about as fun as watching paint dry, but trust me, the results could be life changing. I've seen this happen. In fact, in those of my recent videos, I even shared a case study of a patient who literally cut their creatinine in half by focusing on gut health. No joke. Miss that one? <laughs> no worries. The link is up here and also down in description. Check it out when you're done here. But wait, there is more. Up next, number four. This is something that won't require a team of seven nephrologists, four gastroenterologists, and a dietitian to figure out. Let's talk about omega-3s. Are you already supplementing these essential fatty acids? Well, you should. Omega-3s are the overachievers that make the rest of your supplements look lazy. And they are known for keeping your heart in check and your cholesterol in line. But did you know they've got a few more tricks up their sleeve? According to a meta-analysis of 10 randomized controlled trials published in PLOS One, supplementing with omega-3 fatty acids can improve protein real levels in people with type 2 diabetes significantly. Yes, science tells us that these essential fatty acids can really help with proteinuria. And in my experience, not just people with diabetes will benefit from them. So consider adding 1000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA a day to your treatment regime. Okay, number three, what can be even more helpful than omega-3s? Well, what about one of the most powerful supplements in existence when it comes to protecting your kidneys? Number three is cordyceps. I always recommend cordyceps, especially if you've got diabetes or if you have high proteinuria levels. Why? Because you will be able to see the results of taking three to six grams of cordyceps extract a day in just a few weeks, especially on your proteinuria levels. But don't just take my experience on it. The Cochrane Library, which is basically the Bible of scientific reviews, says Cordyceps significantly decreases serum creatinine. So yeah, this stuff works. But the benefit of cordyceps is not just decreasing creatinine levels. Actually, cordyceps is incredibly powerful when it comes to stopping proteinuria. One study showed a 36.7% drop in proteinuria levels. That's not just good, that's where you have been all my life. Good. Now, if you're ready to jump on the cordyceps train, just remember, it's all about cordycepin. That's the active ingredient doing the heavy lifting. So when you're shopping for cordyceps extract, make sure the brand isn't cutting corners and actually certifies the cordycepin percentage. Otherwise, you might as well be taking overpriced sodas. Okay, time for our number two. As I was saying, cordyceps is amazing, no doubt. But there is one combo that might just steal the show, astragalus and curcumin. Astragalus is probably one of the most studied supplements for sick patients, and it's a staple in my recommendations exactly for that reason. Well, not to mention that it actually works. In fact, 
taking two to four grams of astragalus powder daily can seriously turbocharge your kidney health, especially if you are in the advanced stages of CKD. In one study, participants in stage 4 and 5 actually reversed their kidney function decline in just 3 months. That's right, a whooping 10.3% improvement in kidney function just by taking astragalus. Now, astragalus seems to be especially useful against proteinuria, as we can see. And you should also consider taking it with curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric. This combo can actually repair the microvessels inside your organs. Yes, you heard that right. Repair. If that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. Okay guys, we've made it to number one and trust me, this is the big one. The piece de resistance. My absolute best advice on this whole kidney saving journey. And this is phosphorus. Yes, keep an eye on your phosphorus level like it's the last roll of toilet paper during a pandemic. Seriously, in the battle against kidney disease, reducing phosphorus intake is the hill you want to die on. Or, you know, not die on. In fact, not surprisingly, reducing phosphorus intake seems to be the main direction in which modern medicine is heading when it comes to kidney health. And yeah, clearly the fact that protein sources are the main source of phosphorus as well has to do with it. Phosphorus and protein are much made in hell. I mean, as incredible as it may sound, when you decrease your protein intake, you can also decrease your unwanted protein output. Yeah, what an amazing machine the human body is. But actually, there is more to phosphorus than its clingy relationship with protein. A recent study found out that limiting your intake of this dangerous toxin may be enough to reverse kidney disease. So, if you want to know more about how to stop phosphorus from damaging your kidneys and causing proteinuria, my video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye-bye.